Hi everybody, welcome to you in Poultry Extension channel of engineer Rifat Khater. Today we are going to talk about immunity in poultry against various diseases. All specialists in the field of poultry should be fully aware of this topic to avoid the dangerous diseases that infect the flocks of poultry which they supervise. This video contains the types of immune systems and bird bodies and the factors affecting immunity acquiring. Immunity in bird body is formed as a result of the entry of the causative microbe, which is called antigen. This microbe produces toxins that appear on the bird in the form of pathological symptoms. Bird's body creates chemical substances to eliminate the attaching microbe called antibodies. Each type of these antibodies is specialized for a specific type of these microbes. Antibodies formation takes several hours to several days, depending on the following factors. 1. The number of microbes attacking bird's body. 2. The virulence of the causative microbe. 3. The state of immunity formed in bird's body to protect it from future infections varies from several weeks to several months. If the microbe is bacteria, the immunity formed is short term, but the immunity formed from a previous viral infection or from a previous vaccination is long term and more effective. Due to the increased survival time antibodies in bird's body. The immune system in bird's body consists of specialized cells, most of them are lymphocytes and some help cells called macrophages, which are white blood cells that devour the attaching microbes and the interferon formed by macrophages. Lymphocyte cells are two types. One, T cells, as responsible for the formation of local cellular immunity. Two, B cells, as responsible for the formation of antibodies in the blood. Types of immune systems in bird's body. One, primary immune system. It consists of one, thymus glands. They produce the lymphocytes T cells, which are responsible for the formation of local cellular immunity. 2. Fibricious gland. It's responsible for the formation of blood immunity, where lymphocytes B cells develop onto plasma cells, responsible for forming immunoglobulins IgG, IgM, and IgA, that create antibodies in the blood. Primary immune system protects hatching chicks in the first three to four weeks of life. Besides two, parental immunity transferred from mother's blood to the embryo through the yolk and egg whites. Two, peripheral immunity system. It consists of spleen, arterial gland, gut tonsils, and lymph nodes and some tissues. The formation of this system starts in the first weeks of bird's life gradually, until its formation is completed at the age of six to eight weeks to replace the primary immune system as a result of thymus and fibrous gland atrophy and disappeared completely at the age of maturity. Three, parental immunity. Hatching eggs contain three types of immunoglobulins that transmit from mother's blood to hatching chicks. They are IgG immunoglobulin, which is transmitted from mother's blood to the egg yolk, IgA and IgM immunoglobulins, which are transmitted from mother's blood to the egg whites, when eggs are hatched, 
the three types of immunoglobulins are transmitted to the fetus. Parental immunity protects hatching chicks during the first weeks of their life. Therefore, parents must be vaccinated with dead vaccines against viral diseases. The duration of parental immunity for chicks varies according to the type of diseases as follows. Parental immunity prevents chicks from infecting with epidemic tremor disease until the age of 8 weeks. Also, parental immunity prevents chicks from infecting with Newcastle, Gamboro, and avian infectious bronchitis diseases for 3 weeks if the mothers are well vaccinated with dead vaccines for these diseases. Hatching chicks of layers and breeders must be vaccinated against Marek's disease at one day old because the causative virus attacks the chicks immediately after hatching. Factors affecting immunity acquiring 1. In appropriate environmental conditions such as severe heat or cold, high humidity, severe crowding, starvation and thirst. 2. Poor parental immunity makes the chicks susceptible to viral diseases in the first weeks of life. 3. Infection with a highly virulent strain exceeds the ability of immunity acquired from vaccinations. Therefore, symptoms of the diseases appear despite vaccination. 4. Infection with immunosuppressive diseases such as Gamboro, influenza, and rave virus. 5. The presence of mycotoxins in the feed, such as aflatoxin and ocratoxin, suppress cellular immunity of the paired. 6. Vaccine type. When vaccinating birds with dead vaccines, birds will have a high blood immunity but their cellular immunity of mucous membranes is not sufficient. As for live vaccines that are used by spraying or in drinking water, give birds localized cellular immunity within four to seven days. Seven, diseases transmitted from mothers such as bullorum diseases. The antibodies transmitted from mother are not enough. To kill the causative microbe transmitted through fertilized eggs, where the disease's symptoms appear on the hatching chicks. 8. Using antibiotics in high doses or for a long period affects negatively bird immunity. 9. Deficiency of some vitamins affects negatively bird immunity, such as vitamin B2. B6, folic acid, and pantosinic acid. 10. Deficiency of some minerals affects negatively bird immunity, such as zinc and selenium. Finally, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to press subscribe, like, and share. If you have any inquiry related to this video, please comment and I will reply with suitable answer. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.